But this is a great time of year to talk about medium voltage air switches because what you'll see are what look like little cigarette burns or rust spots here on the back of the wall might look innocu innocuous, innocuous, right? Like no big deal. But what those indicate to the trained observer, like, our, like myself, is there's partial discharge occurring, right? Little small tracking events from the primary conductor here to a grounded plane. And when those occur in the situation I'm showing here, no big deal, it's, it's, it's burning the back of the board a little bit, but left unchecked, this becomes an arc flash event because once again, most of our arc flash events start off phase to ground. And this is a perfect example of the precursor to a failure being caught before it fails. Now, I mentioned this is a great time of year to talk about this problem because what precipitates this, what, what drives this in a lot of cases, this particular example is moisture, right? I don't know about where everybody's at from around the country, but right now, sometimes we have really kind of cool, damp mornings and then the, and then the or dry morning and the sun comes up and everything warms up and we get some condensation going. And of course, they're supposed to be operating heaters in these types of cabinets to minimize condensation, minimize that moisture. But in a lot of cases, heaters aren't hooked up. Uh, once again, that goes back to good acceptance testing. Are those heaters hooked up properly and working properly when it was acceptance tested? And then good maintenance testing. Heaters fail, the fuses blow. And once again, those heaters, if they're not working, can lead to uh, partial discharge. And like I say, ultimately lead to some uh, arc flash hazards uh, that would be unexpected in a normal maintenance, in a, in a normal operating situation. So a couple of things to keep in mind when we talk about uh, maintenance testing.